हेलो गाइस गुड मॉर्निंग एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल दिस पोस्टर मैन जी एंड यू आर वाचिंग ऑटोमेनिया और मेरे पास है दी ऑल न्यू हीरो जूम गाइस ट्रस्ट मी दिस इज वन ऑफ द लेटेस्ट एंड द मोस्ट मॉडर्न बाइक हीरो हैज ऑफर्ड एंड दिस लुक्स यंग दिस लुक्स मॉडर्न एंड दिस इज नॉट द टॉप एंड वेरियंट दिस इज द मिड वेरियंट विच इज द वी एक्स मॉडल गाइज यस टॉप एंड इज द जेड एक्स देन वी एक्स देन कम्स एल एक्स सो दिस इज द मिड वेरियंट एंड सम थिंग्स आर मिसिंग फ्रॉम यर दैन द टॉप एंड वेरियंट विच वी शैल टॉक इन दिस रन और यस दिस इज हाउ द बाइक लुक्स राधर द स्कूटर दिस हाउ द स्कूटर लुक्स Let's uh, continue with the ride, and we would be finding more about the scooter. Or, let's see how's the feeling of the new Hero Zoom. First of all, extremely light. One zero eight kg is extremely light, and I three years. So yes, let's get started. Before that, if you have not subscribed to the channel yet, consider smashing the subscribe button and like this video. The so starting was smooth. no hassles at all okay let's push okay here we go the speedometer is not connected so i won't be able to show you the speed but trust me the acceleration which i'm getting in this one is absolutely it's different it feels like 125 cc scooter but it is just 110 cc and boy oh boy they were right on this acceleration thing which hero is focusing on so much that this scooter is having a top of the line acceleration and uh, what i can feel through the speed it is almost around 90 The speed is almost around uh, 90, and we are still climbing. So this is a powerful scooter, guys. This is a powerful scooter for a day-to-day -day commuting. Uh, yes, you might. There are other considerations as well. The Activa, the Jupiter. There are other scooters in this market, but yes, <coughs> this scooter comes with its own, you know, good things and not so good things, which uh, we shall discuss further. <laughs> so 110 cc. single cylinder air cooled bs6 compliant engine with a max power of around 8.9 ps and 8.2 newton meters of peak torque which is good enough for day to day traffic like overtaking is it's easy overtaking is easy main thing is the weight because it is very light 109 kg you can very easily you know uh, do quick maneuvers around the city traffic and being uh, as a mid variant this doesn't come with a disc brake so which is a very good advantage if you had the disc brake sorry if you had a disc brake but still this uh, brake feels nice but because it's a new scooter you won't get that exact bite bite and that feeling because it will take some time to settle on and uh, you know give that uh, <coughs> okay give that bite oh boy this is fun this scooter is fun guys this scooter is fun okay this scooter is fun okay i don't feel the need of disc brake man the, the bite from the drum setup up and, and the rear is quite good it comes with a combi braking system or that uh, that same technology which you call the like if you apply one brake the other gets applied automatically so that's how it is uh, made the braking system and uh, handling handling is it's really really updated man because of the chassis which is brand new for the scooter and uh, <coughs> the lightweight you will feel like it's one of the best of this segment guys it is one of the best and as you know it's from hero so the reliability factor is top notch so i'll just go through the overall look of the scooter okay this is the hero zoom and this is the vx variant the mid variant so what you are missing in this variant from the top end is the front disc which is 190 mm you don't get that you get a drum brake up front next thing is you don't won't get the bluetooth connectivity over here the rest is the same next <coughs> it is guys let me know what do you think about the looks it reminds me of certain scooters in the indian market avenis entork This is inspired from those genre of scooters. Yes, Entorc is one of the best scooters in the market segment, but that is also costlier by a uh, by some margin. Okay, 
<coughs> talking of the looks the front you have this x led that is new from hero motocop and it does look beautiful man you have full led headlamps you miss out on the cornering lamp that's the main thing what you miss out on this variant that you get on the top end variant the cornering lamps as you can see right now which i'm showing you uh, the cornering, cornering lamp will <coughs> what it will do when when you're tipping the bike onto the left side or to the right side the either of the cornering lamps will start glowing and that would give you know a better illumination when you're in the corners so overall that is a safety feature which is missing over here that would i would take that as a safety feature because that increases the visibility of the rider so that is missing this variant so no bluetooth no cornering lights and no front disc brakes these are the most three important features which is missing in this vx variant guys overall the indicators these are all halogen this is led tail lamps are led the looks is inspired from all those entor kind of style entor avenues it is more towards the avenues i would say if you look at the exhaust you would feel exactly the same it is inspired from that of avenues man anyways the tire size is 12 inch up and front 90 section at, at the front and uh, it is 100 section at the rear the grip is awesome you don't have any problem <coughs> the tire what you're getting over here is from a marf and let me show you how the scooter looks from the back it looks smart man it looks smart it looks peppy and yes even from the rear you get the hint of that new modern scooter like from like the with the likes of if you compare with the likes of the entork avenues and all you get that hint that this design is inspired from all those scooters i won't be lying it's a bit of truth it's a single sided rear suspension and the travel man it is it's it is big it is big the advantage of this suspension is like even with the pillion i've tried like when you're riding with the pillion also normally in jupiter what will happen it will bottom out very easily like i have ridden jupiter a lot and with pillion it does bottom out on potholes but this doesn't happen in the suspension because of this uh, you know the new suspension for the scooter there is no bottoming out the issue is not there you get a cvt you also have a kick start the rear are the drum brakes 110 cc single cylinder engine you have this side stand engine cut off switch i'll just show you how it works okay the scooter is running right now the moment you pull the side stand it cuts off so another safety feature added and i'll just show you the speedometer that's the trip average fuel consumption that's the odo yes we are back we are back to odo nothing special nothing fancy you've got the time you've got the speed you've got the fuel gauge the speedometer uh, will be in digital format and uh, yes you have got this i3s light you have got the engine check light the blinker light and the upper dipper light the low fuel indicator and side stand indicator in the top end variant you would be having the added benefit of a bluetooth so yes that is not there over here the switch gear feels good it feels like hero like see it's a budget scooter so it won't be anything fancy but yes it does feel good the build quality is it's it's good it's tough uh, and uh, there won't be any compromise on any of these things from hero like something which i didn't like i would say you like this bolt over here i feel that it is not finished you know in that way which i expected there there could be some kind of cover or something to you know to cover these two bolts out right now it is disturbing my vision like i feel this two is irritating me a lot so these are small things that could have been improved and the uh, speedometer you can see this in broad daylight very clearly and also at night time it is very clearly visible you have got this hero logo over here overall it's a smart and handsome scooter you have got the zoom branding i i just love the light man headlamps is is cute so dekhna padega ki abhi raat mein illumination kaisi hai lekin the headlamp is this cute man yes that's the overall look of the scooter you have got a very good grab handle and yes a very useful cup holders like it's not a kind of bottle holder you can keep so many things you can keep your cell phones you can keep small bag also over here it is very useful to of this 
places where you can load some luggage it is very useful guys so yes this is a big 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 added bonus you have another hook over here yes so you can tie some of your bags let me show you what you get under the seat you are getting okay the fuel cap filler is over here so you have to open the seat every time you go out to fill your scooter that's a negative point because now modern scooters are having this filler cap at the rear so you don't have to open your seat but for this case you have to open your seat 5.2 liter is the fuel capacity and see the storage space is huge you can easily fit one full-size helmet over here very easily so you have got a LED light over here so illuminate when it's dark 5.2 liter is the fuel capacity expected mileage what hero is saying is around 68 but you can expect anything around 50 to 55 in the real world this is the key let me show you this is the key very basic nothing fancy this is a budget scooter guys you won't get anything special and yes this feels nice I'll just show you the animation once again okay this is smart this is smart i3s this is a stop uh, stop go technology for hero that will help you save more fuel man talking about the saddle height it's around uh, 755 millimeters and it is very much accessible the height is not too high at all so very good for uh, people with short height and especially girls would find it very easy to ride because of the uh, low saddle height and the lightweight of the scooter the ground clearance 155 millimeters which is good enough for day-to-day -day city riding the stubby exhaust it does look modern but looks inspired from many other you know offerings in the indian market let's not go there but it looks inspired from many scooters like the avenis like this design is also inspired from the entorque yes these are small things which hero could have given their own touches and if you see this design like this exact design or what I'm talking about and make it big in all proportions you would find it similar to that of Yamaha Aerox we have got programmed FI yes guys this is a BS6FI engine man yes very light very good to grab there is no special special grab handle the one negative point you cannot fix anything at the back for you know for the pillion to no, put support or that will help billion get some support while sitting so that is missing and I don't think you can fix it anyhow so yes that's it for the scooter the seat is quite wide it's soft and for the rear pillion seat I would say it's a bit smaller but anyways for the rider it is very soft and comfortable this it's written DC so I think I would find a charging option okay it's hidden down there okay you have a charging option over here under this you can uh, put a USB charger and then keep your cell phone over here while and ride while charging so yes your phone won't be out of juice every place I'm seeing these bolts like I'm not feeling good that should have been better this bolt quality and all maybe this is the first lot so in future product that might improve but these bolts needs to be improved the quality needs to be improved the plastic quality feels basic nothing nothing fancy okay so let's keep going man and uh, and give you more details you have got ample space to keep your legs you have this uh, huge space where you can keep your legs and you are very 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 comfortable guys this is not a scooter you which you would take for long rides and go for you know uh, Sikkim tour or Ladakh tour it's not that kind of scooter that you would be taking this one everywhere but for daily rides for daily commute for uh, one second let me give a quick overtake oh boy the power is there the power is there and don't forget it's a brand new scooter ignore the speedometer because the speedometer is disconnected right now but it's a brand new scooter actual scooter just came to the showroom from the truck and i brought this out for a ride review guys let me know what you feel about the scooter and uh, overall the power feels great <coughs> the styling feels good the headlight uh, the handle design the overall design up front is modern 
the corning lights does have an appeal of its own which is coming the top and variant the disc brake up front 190 millimeters for the top and variant and the rear is 130 millimeter drum brakes and for this variant it's 130 mm up and front with uh, dual braking systems you have uh, one second one second okay you have a very good ground clearance of 155 millimeters and uh, 755 mm is the ground is the saddle height the seat is roomy it's comfy you get the instant part whenever you're riding the handling the handling is superb guys the handling is superb the tire size 12 inches does help with the handling and going around speed bump there is speed bump coming up i'll try to go at a bit of higher speed i just hope there is no buffalo that comes and hit me around one second be careful guys and the brakes does feel purposeful it feels hard it feels strong bye guys bye 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 okay we have got a family of buffaloes i'll just go run through the speed bump okay guys trust me that speed bump i didn't feel anything man i did not feel that the suspension is really doing its work properly in you know cushioning out all these speed bumps all these uh, imperfections on the road the big tires the chunky 12 inch tires does help to glide over the potholes and the speed bumps overall the build quality you would say it's hero man it's hero you don't expect you know any flaws into this but there are some mistakes which i already said i th things could have been better like these bolts and nuts that could have been better i hope that is improved in the next generations and in the upcoming models otherwise build quality is solid uh, the most advantage thing is the spare parts guys it's a hero the spare parts availability is you'll get it instantly everywhere and uh, it's cheap to maintain fuel economy of around 50 55 kilometers to a liter 50 kilometers to a liter that would be a good number i guess 55 maybe asking too much but 50 kilometers to a liter is something which uh, which is very okay for me and okay let me go over the speed bump once again and see without braking okay it's fun it is fun guys okay 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 i just thought the cop was shouting at me anyways the front suspension does feel solid but it is really skinny guys it is really skinny that was the overall view of the scooter and overall ride review guys of the scooter and yes if you are interested in any kind of hero offerings and you are in the Durgapur region you can get in touch with Datta Automobile Durgapur and uh, let me let them know that you are a subscriber of Automini I'm sure handsome goodies and discounts are on your way talking about the pricing of the scooter this comes at an ex showroom of 81,000 rupees for the top end variant and the price for this variant it is coming down below over here and uh, yes it's quite a good value for money scooter and value for money model is this one the mid mid variant the vx variant you miss out on the disc brake you miss out on the bluetooth you miss out on the cornering lights but you get everything same the alloy wheels the engine the ride quality is 100 percent same and you know if you are running short of budget you can go on with this variant guys and if you like this video if you like the review let me know in the comment section down below and uh, let me know your thoughts if you want to go for this or some other scooter that brings me to the end of the episode of auto mania and before ending as i always say about helmets when you're riding what a serious while driving and never drink and drive guys this is professor you are watching auto mania signing off Ta -da!